what's up guys just in here of you get tech and let's talk about e sim cards what are these and will this put an end to the era of physical sim So before anything else, let's define what eSIM is. So eSIM or embedded SIM from the name itself is a chip living inside your phone, so there's no physical SIM involved. Meaning there will no longer be SIM card slots in your device. eSIM can be placed on smartwatches like the Galaxy Gear S2 3G back in 2016. And now smartphones like the Google Pixel 4, the new Motorazor, Galaxy Z Flip, and newer iPhones are now implementing this. As our technology grows, smartphone manufacturers are trying their best to eliminate components on a smartphone to make room for either battery or other parts. Like what Samsung, Apple, and other smartphone manufacturers did with the headphone jack. But the question is, how does eSIM work? Is it more convenient than using physical SIM cards? Smartphones with eSIM have a small chip inside your smartphone. If you think micro SIM is small, then think again because eSIM is approximately 49% smaller than that micro SIM. It works kind of like an NFC chip, but instead of connecting to a terminal to use Apple Pay or Google Pay, it connects to your smartphone carrier. Now to activate an eSIM, first you have to go to your carrier, then after that, your carrier will issue a QR code which will be scanned using your phone. And that's it. But do take note that not all carriers offer this kind of SIM just yet. For instance, here in the Philippines, as the date of the publishing of this video, so far, Globe is the only telecom that offers eSIM. Now, you might be asking, what are the advantages of this technology? So just like what I mentioned, your carrier will give you a QR code, which is a single QR code that can be used for up to three devices. So if you are constantly changing your smartphone, you can skip the hassle of searching for a SIM ejector tool, popping out your SIM card out of your phone, and that sort. Plus, sometimes when your SIM card is worn out, you can skip the hassle of going to your local carrier to ask for a replacement one. Also, when your phone gets stolen, they can't remove your SIM so you can still track your device. Note that the information of an eSIM is rewritable, meaning you can call your carrier if you want to change your plan, which can be done in just minutes. Or in some countries, you can change your carrier with just a phone call. On the downside, eSIM also has its disadvantages and you're probably thinking about it already. One of which is that if you have a smartphone that supports eSIM and your phone is tied up to a carrier, you cannot use an eSIM coming from a different telecom. Which is a big downside since some companies that offer dual SIM smartphones often have other SIM slots open line. If you want to use your physical SIM or eSIM at the same time, then you'll need a factory unlock device. So yeah eSIM might be just as convenient as it is, but now, right at this moment, it is more convenient to have a smartphone with two physical SIM card slots than having one physical and one eSIM, especially when you need having two numbers in one phone and tied up to a carrier. But at the end of the day, it is still your preference that matters. So, what do you guys think about these eSIM cards? Let us know in the comments. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is Justin, and I'll see you soon!